Hey everybody, welcome back. I am going to read from Children of the Matrix. And um, this is, I believe, it's not by David Icke. It is somebody's, I think it's somebody else talking about them and then trying to make sense of, um, it's like somebody critiquing somebody else who was critiquing somebody else and then translating. So, you know, whatever. But I wanted to read about it because I am Danish and I'm going to do another video about touching the sphere of Amenti, which I did do, and how it relates to my Danish heritage. So, um, in Egypt, this is from a guy named Fadel, who wrote the uh, British Edda. Um, in Egypt, Fadel says, Indara, Thor, was known by the title of Asari, which became Osiris, the leading deity in the Egyptian worship of the sun. Osiris was often depicted as a blue-eyed Aryan, just as Indara was. King Indara, Dur or Tur of Sumer, Indra of India, Thor of Andri, uh, or Indvara, Andrew of Edda, Osiris of Egypt, and the original version of King Arthur are all the same person, Vidal contends. So, he says, is Dar Danos, the first king of Troy in Homer's Yad, or Liad, depending on how you read it, um, Thor was known as Dan. And from the same root, you get Danube and Denmark, the Danish spelling of Denmark. The name relates to the Danaeans, who originated in Atlantis. The British Israelite movement claims that the lost tribes of Israel, especially the tribe of Dan, moved out of the Middle East and settled in the British Isles and Europe. This, they claim, led to the names Danube and Denmark, and therefore makes the British and their kin, their genetic kin, God's chosen people. They have, however, completely lost the plot. I would suggest, not least because they are obsessed with the idea that the Bible is accurate, and it is not, the Edda says that Thor, Dan, and his Aryans went from Europe in the first place to settle in Turkey and Mesopotamia and found the civilization of Sumer. That is precisely what happened. As I indicated earlier, it also says that the Aryans of the Danube Valley were already well in advance of the rest of the world before they went down into Mesopotamia. The Danube Valley is very significant in the bloodlines. The Danube is the second longest river in Europe and runs from Germany through Romania, Dracula country and into the Black Sea. The Edda says that Thor fought and defeated the serpent worshippers of Phrygia, Phrygia in Turkey, a word that comes from the Sumerian name Phrygig or Phrygig, and it means literally land of the lions. And here's a depiction, an image of Thor or Or defeating the symbolic lions of Phrygia, the land of the lions, was carved in ivory on the handle of a knife around 3350 BC. Okay. Thor is depicted on ancient carvings symbolically fighting and taming lions in this battle with the Phygians, and so we have the symbolic Hebrew story of Daniel taming the lion. Thor was also Midas the king who turned everything into gold with the Midas touch. His victory over the Phygians was com commemorated in those ancient lands in a monument known as the Tomb of Midas, although it is not actually a tomb. On it are nine, nine, enormous crosses of St. George, another name for Thor or Indara, that dates about 1023 BC, or 1000 BC, sorry. The Red Cross. So we go into the Red Cross. I think this is pretty much uh, not important past there. Um, so basically talking about this is one tribe of Israel, all, though it does not say what tribe it is. But um, you have to understand that there are a lot of different people claiming to be different tribes. So um, And also you have to understand what was going on with the Atlanteans and the Atlantean agenda even from a very long time ago. Um, and it is um, the people from Atlantis, sort of a lot of their fault in uh, why we are in the drama that we're in today. So um, I'm just reading other stuff. The Holy Grail, um, 
I would I would recommend finding this. It's really easy. I think I was looking up. Oh, how I found this was I went to that monument site, St. George, Monument of St. George, which is also a troll, tr truly Illuminati site. And it has a giant bridge, the mayor's mansion, and uh, this, this uh, little monument to the Italian Illuminati. And it says truly, which is the troll, the truly Illuminati. And that is actually how I found this. I was um, trying to just Google the words that I have found at that place. And the reason it jumped out at me was that I had been looking at my friend's map that she made and I noticed that here's the building so there's the building see it looks like a little um, castle and a lot of people take their picture there but do you see it says truly on that plaque so I thought they really wanted it to say truly because why didn't they just put the picture of the building in and the building has the plaque on it right here. Why do they need to put this thing in? That's not a sign. That's not there. So it caught my eye. It just did. It's in my DNA for it to catch my eye. So, um, so that's when I started looking into it and then I found this whole thing about the Edda and the Eden devices and the two elves um, and um, all these different things and even um, Athena, Eve, uh, just all this, the Evites, um, all those different stuff. So, um, yes, Denmark is part of the tribe of Dan, which is one of the tribes of Israel. So, um, I just wanted to, as, as I find out these different tribes, I will be posting them. Um, I'm going to start posting the different um, deities, not deities, but um, symbols and sigils, I guess, for the different tribes of Egypt, especially the Indigo Grail Line tribes. So, um, this DNA. This um, Danish DNA is, I have to get into, uh, I should probably just say, but part of it is demonic, uh, what you would call a demonic DNA line. It has Thule in it. So if you look at the Thule societies and what Thule is, and you will find out what it is. But um, I, I personally don't say it, it's demonic, but the people that have this blood tend to be extremely evil because of the power of the blood. It is extremely powerful. Um, it's, um, it's the same with the Hispanic bloodline because these bloodlines carry the Ark of the Covenant in them. Um, and in their in, in the avatars that come down in them. So um, uh, right now, most of the avatars and most of the messiahs that are walking around have a mix of this blood, and there's a reason for that as well. Um, you have to understand the darkness to be able to defeat it. So a lot of us have um, been interbred with this blood um, on purpose, <laughs> especially the Spanish blood, the Mexican blood. That shit is spicy, but you should know this shit is spicy. So, um, but, uh, oh, oh, I'm always saying that. Just a little dabble do you. I'm serious. So, anyways, um, uh, it also has to do with the Goths. And um, this is the Edda of um, the British Edda. So, it's like the story of Eden in, um, in the incarnations of these people while they were in Europe. So, very interesting. Um, I, I will do another video on David Icke because it's important that you know who he is.